Lava, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some super cute Easter cupcakes. So yeah, without further ado, let's just roll into it! So the first thing you're going to need is some cupcakes. I just have some vanilla ones. And you're going to need some green frosting with a star tip. And you're also going to need some mini robin's eggs. I just found these at Target. So you're going to start by just piping little dollops of your green frosting around the cupcake to look like grass for our eggs to lay in. So you're going to go all the way around the cupcake until the cupcake is all the way full with frosting. So you can see I've just put three more little dollops of frosting on. And now we're just going to take our Robin's eggs and you're just going to pour a couple of them into your hand. Doesn't matter if a couple roll away because we just can just have those later. And you're just going to put them on your cupcake in whatever pattern or whatever you want. I suggest just putting about three and that's it. It's very simple and very cute. So for this next cupcake, you're also going to need some unfrosted cupcakes, some green frosting with a star tip, some melted white chocolate in a piping bag, some melted dark chocolate in a piping bag, some robin's eggs, some parchment paper, and some toothpicks. So you're going to start by ripping off a small kind of piece of parchment paper, however big or however small you want, and then just flip it over to where the flat side is down. So you're going to start with your white chocolate and you're going to pipe on little bunny ears and then you're going to pipe on the little bunny face and just fill that in with your white chocolate. It doesn't matter if it's not all filled in all the way, we'll get that later. So then you're going to take a toothpick and you're just going to start rubbing in the white chocolate so that there are literally no gaps and it's all filled in. So then just tap it down on the countertop and you can go back in with your toothpick if you want and separate the ears a little bit more if you think that's necessary. And then you're just going to take this into the fridge until it sets. So here I have the hardened white chocolate. You can see it's very hard. I can just pick it up and there's a totally flat side on the other side. So I'm taking this hot water dipped knife and then I'm just going to dry it off. And you can use it to separate the ears if you want to, just like let it melt through. And then you can just go on any sides that you feel that it's uneven, and then you can just melt off the chocolate. So now we're going to go in with our dark chocolate and pipe on the eyes, nose, and whiskers. And we're just starting with the eyes, just do two big circles. He's a cute little bunny. So then you're going to pipe on the nose and mouth. You're just going to pipe on a dot, and then you're just going to make a little smile off the dot. Just do one little loop, and then you're going to pipe on the other part of the mouth, I guess you could say, the other little loop. And then you're going to add on the whiskers, just three little um, lines of chocolate. Mine are pretty sloppy, but you know, who cares? Then I'm just going to do them the same on the other side. And then you're just going to put this into the fridge until the chocolate hardens. So we are back and the dark chocolate has hardened. And then you're just going to turn over your bunny and you're just going to take a toothpick and a plate and you're going to put the bunny on it and you're going to just line up the toothpick and then you're just going to take your white chocolate and just pipe a line on your toothpick so that the toothpick will stay in place and then just put it into the fridge until it hardens. So this is finally out of the fridge for its last and final time and now it's time to assemble. So we're going to start, start with our cupcake that we just decorated like the other one and we have our we just stick in our um bunny topper and we're going to just take our robin's eggs and just pick out a couple of them into your hand and you don't want that many just put them onto a plate if you have one handy and then just pick out your favorite ones and then you will just put them onto the cupcake in front of the bunny in whatever pattern you want and there you go another finished cupcake so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to comment down below which cup.
cupcake you guys like better, number one or number two. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!